What's good? YouTube. It's your boy Drizzy here. And uh, as you can see by the title of the video, we're going to be going over five things that I'm thinking about in terms of uh, the new Pokemon releases, Scarlet and Violet. Um, these five things are going to be things that I'm worried about, things that I'm curious about, things that I want to see how they work, stuff like that. Um, so we're going to start off, we're just going to get right into it. We're going to start off with number five. And this is a big, 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 big worry of mine. And it's that all the Pokemon in the trailer seemed really, really alive. Like the Pineco in the tree, the Don Flan playing with its trunk, stuff like that. It was, it was so refreshing and so cool. But I'm worried because low key, the same things kind of happened with um, Sword and Shield, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and stuff like that. Uh, games like that that. The trailers often showed the Pokemon seeming really, really alive and things like that. I'll say in Pokemon Legends Arceus, it's a lot better than Sword and Shield was, but Sword and Shield was awful. I just want to know for a, a fact that these animations are something that I could see in game. Like if I watch a herd of Don fans walk around, I want to see it play with its trunk. I want them to feel alive and not feel like things I have to capture to progress in the story or anything like that. Um, so, I just want them to feel alive, especially in battle. They don't need to feel like blocks of, of dust that have typing. Now, number four, this one, I'm, or number two, I should say, that last one was number one, this one's number two. Um, another thing that I'm really, really, uh, interested, I want, I want to say that I'm more interested than, than worried would be uh, how does the new gimmick, I think it's called Teratalyze or something like that, work. Um, at least in the trailer, it seems to be like almost kind of like a Dyna, not Dynamax, well, the only thing I can compare it to would be Dynamaxing. It's like a mixture between Dynamaxing and Z moves. It seems like you could pick any move and it changes your Pokemon to that typing, which could lead to some crazy plays in competitive. Like if your fairy knows like a steel move, or your fire type knows a water move or a grass move. I should have said grass move because I don't know why I said water, but you know, things like that, um, it could change its typing and either resist, negate, or anything, a certain type against it. Like if you try to, to predict, or if you try to hit a fire type with a water move and it swaps, it uses solar beam and swaps to a grass type, it's gonna be resisted and it's gonna live the hit. It's just things like that, it's just really, really cool um, to see. Um, and I wonder how it's gonna work with like status moves, like toxic, things like that. I'm just really, really curious um, to see how it's gonna work, work out or if it's just going to be like, I need to have a certain held item or something like that, like a normal plate for a normal Teratalyze or something like that. But let's move on to number three. Number three is a bit of a worry, bit, a bit of concerned. So in all the trailers, they kept saying that we we're going to be riding on the back of these legendaries. And obviously you're not going to get a bike at the end of the game, but you're supposed to get a legendary around seventh, eighth gym uh preferably before the league stuff like that but if they're gonna be our bikes then we kind of need them before then so how is that gonna work out are we literally gonna get the legendaries like when we get the bikes i know they have a prevo because cyclazar is 110 percent a prevo so they could give us that as our bike but why did they make it seem like we were going to be riding the legendaries incredibly early that's the only thing i'm worried about I, I want the legendaries to feel special i don't want to feel like they're hand given to us or anything like that also though is cyclists are going to evolve into the legendary of our game or the other legendary that's another interesting question that i could have um because I don't know, man. I think that what they should do is they should allow you to have Cyclozar, of course, should evolve into the other one just in case you don't have any friends to play their game. But 
definitely, 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 definitely they should not give us the legendaries incredibly early. I don't even think they should give us Cyclazar until maybe the third, the second or third gym, personally speaking. I mean, that's about the same time you got the bike in Sword and Shield. I think you got it right before the fire gym. So it would be about right. Now, we're on to numero four. Um, in terms of what I think um, that I'm probably the most interested in when it comes to uh, number four is how is the four player co-op going to work between games? Because obviously there's version exclusives. Obviously there's this and that. I'm curious to how if I say, for example, I know Andrew's getting Scarlet and I'm getting Violet. If I join Andrew, how is the time resourcing feature going to work? Is it going to be am I going to see his ancient Pokemon allowing me to catch those Pokemon? Will I see his version exclusives in the regions where my version exclusives will show up or will I only see my version exclusive because if I can see his version exclusives that's a W because I could join his game go catch my own and he can join mine go catch his own and we'll be perfectly fine like that but if it's not then it's gonna be a little weird so that's why I only like caveat kinda if it works that way if it works the way that I'm thinking it does where I can see any Pokemon, or I can see his version exclusives. He can see mine. If he if via who's host of the server, I feel like that's gonna be so 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 just amazing. Like it actually will let me be able to like say for example, if I wanted to shiny hunt a version exclusive, I I could. Um, if we want to do to do shiny races, we could. Things like that. It just adds so much so much so much uh content and re uh, not replayability but refreshness to the game and things like that now number one most interesting most concerning and all of the above the pokemon of course it's a pokemon game the thing i'm most interested in is the pokemon I already have pulled up the current um, list of Pokemon that have been re re uh, revealed, um, being that being Smoliv, Lechonk, uh, the new regional variant of Hooper, Palmy, uh, Cloth, Giraffe, Giraffe, I, Fido, Cyclozar, C Titan, Saraluge, Armorouge, Miraidon, Coridon. Uh, Quaxley, Foycoco, and Spragato. I'm really interested in seeing, um, obviously, what Lechonk evolves into. I don't think that's been revealed yet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not really interested in Puami. I don't really like Pika clones. I'm not really going to be interested in, in that. I think that Wooper is cool, but also Water Ground is actually really good typing, so it kind of sucks that I lost Water Ground typing. Smoliv is incredibly adorable, but it's, I thought it was going to be our bug, but it's not. So I'm curious to see what the regional bug is. Cloth is both, both awesome, adorable, cute, and derpy all in one. So I might actually run Cloth in my playthrough team. I haven't really decided on what playthrough Pokemon I'm going to use. However, I have decided that gir a Giraffe AA is definitely going to be it's definitely going to be in it i just think it looks so freaking cool um it just looks so cool next up we have fido fido is just basic early game fairy i don't think i think it's going to evolve it's going to be decent I, I don't think i'm going to use it just because i don't really like fairies all that much but cyclozar looks cool for an unevolved legendary it's honestly probably like Pretty, pretty cool. So Titan, I don't like its design personally. Um, its typing is also not very good, believing it's just ice. It 
could just it could be ice fairy which is still not good um but hey what can you do about it next up is sarah luge with or sarah sarah ledge sarah ledge is like quite literally the coolest pokemon i've ever seen in my life if i'm being honest with you it probably will replace in my top 10 it's probably gonna replace bisharp since it does the bisharp roll just so much cooler he's so cool he's so freaking cool i don't oh my it's uh, it's dude so cool and then armor is just it's mediocre i'd give it like a six out of ten personally whereas uh sarah 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 ledge is like 10 out of 10. maridon i think its design looks really really sick but also weird at the same time it's got like scoliosis and i don't know how to feel about it whereas Coridon would be the better looking legendary if it used its wheels. <laughs> if it used its wheels, it would be so much cooler. But that's a that's a story for another day. And um, obviously the, the three starters. I'm gonna save my predictions on what I think their type's gonna be for another video. Probably will be uploaded Saturday. Because I know this is going up on Wednesday. That video will probably go up on Saturday. Um, I have a little bit more information on what I know. At least I believe that one of their typings is going to be. Um, so I'm going to save that for another video. Now, um, we all want Sprigato to stay on four legs, but we all know it's not going to happen. But please, for the love of God, Game Freak, keep it quadrupedal. We do not want to buy Petal Cat again. No, uh, we're perfectly fine with that. But Coco, the more and more I look at him, the more and more I actually do not hate his design. At first, I did not like it, but now I have grown to almost love it. Now, Quaxley is probably the best designed Pokemon out of this, if I'm gonna be honest. In terms of in terms of first forms we'll have to see when it comes to second and third forms but hopefully quaxley keeps up it's good design with that being said those are my five things that i'm most concerned worried interested intrigued thinking about in terms of pokemon scarlet and violet let me know what you guys are thinking about in the comment section below and as always leave a like and subscribe if you're new and i'm out peace out